Hi guys, this is Kaboom, and today I'm going to be discussing this new book I read, The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. This is a very famous fantasy series, 14 books and 15 if you count the prequels. It's pretty ambitious to start it, and I just finished the first book, which is The Eye of the World, and I really liked it. Um, I'm, I, if you check my good read, it's uh, 4 out of 5 stars. Um, I it was good, it's just like, I liked a lot of his ideas, and a lot of the criticism for this book is, it's basically Lord of the Rings, which I really don't really think that's a criticism, because at the time, Lord of the Rings was like the most famous fantasy series of all time, and you self-publishing didn't exist, so it was, that was your, you had to get to publish, you had to be Lord of the Rings for it. And so, like, Robert Jordan fits all of his stories into this mold of Lord of the Rings. Like, if you say that, like, he still has his own ideas, his own magic system, which is great. And then he fits it into this Lord of the Rings storyline, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I know he to do it. And I know he transforms into his own series after this gets popular. Um, I really liked it. If you didn't know, this follows uh, three fans. The main characters, Rand, all four, and then his parent and Matt, which is his two friends. Um, other than Maureen, I really didn't like the characters were kind of like Hablob and then Tom Merlin. And then you du Duane, I think that's her name. Um, a lot of the characters were kind of like mushed together. So for me, like, it was just like, I don't know, there didn't really need to be as much characters as there did, but I don't know. That's what I was thinking. Right now, I am enjoying the Stormlight Archive more. Right now, I'm on Words of Radiance, the second book. I'm absolutely loving it. Um... And then, um, but The Wheel of Time, it was a great book. I did, I did think it was a great book. Um, it kind of started, like, the difference, the similarities between Lord of the Rings, I don't need to do Lord of the Rings, similarities with, um, Wheel of Time, but, like, the Trollocs are basically, like, orcs. Like, chasing them out of places. Like, basically, the, the, the similarities is they all live in this village, the Shire, or the, I don't even know what it's called here. And then, like, the bad, or bad things start happening to them, and they have to go. Um, with Maureen the Wizard and Tom Merlin and some other people. Um, and then they go on this journey of running away from these orcs. Um, and then, um, they get split. And I don't really like the part where they get split. It was like, like, it was pretty confusing because, like, they don't handle it that well. Like, at whatever, they have different character chapters in the Stormlight, and I know when it's another character's perspective. But it's kind of a blur here, but I don't know if that's just me. Um, and to be honest, if this wasn't like a famous fantasy series, I don't even know if I would pick it up or even like, like, um, like go to the second book if I read it because the covers aren't that great. Um, the, the story wasn't like, here wasn't like the best story ever, but I did see a lot, a lot of potential in it. Um, but like just, it's a really famous fantasy series and I give it a good review. Um, I love these trade paperbacks. It's the new e the ebook editions. Probably gonna get the whole thing out of this. Robert Jordan. Um, I'll be reading The Great Hunt in February, which is the second book. Um, but yeah, overall, it was a good book. Um, yeah, the weird cover is a big, um, nook from like a little thing for me. It's weird. If you don't see it, um, it's like, kind of like it's strange, but I like this cover because it's just like, kind of like, holds in all these things and it has like the normal world thing, and then the other covers are like completely different except for like the only ones that ha have this old covers and these um, editions are the first book and the last book. The rest have their own completely new covers in this series. And yeah, uh, overall I recommend you to read the real time. I don't know much about it and I know it's a big commitment but if you want to start getting into bigger books I will not stop telling you to read Stormlight Archive because I love the Stormlight Archive now and I'm a huge fan um so yeah a lot of Stormlight videos are gonna come in the future because this is my new favorite book series I love doing the book better but as a series I'm starting to like Stormlight more <clears throat> Yeah, um, so I don't want to keep you too long. See you in the next video.